What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Geeky Gecko Creations video. In this video, if you want to see our new Bumblebee project, then you've come to the right place. The Bumblebee. What is the Bumblebee? Well, the Bumblebee is actually the best of our hyperxanthic, bold projects combined with our Afghanicus projects. And this one actually has a tiki man, a human on his head, which is one of the benefits of working with Afghanicus and Bold in the same project. Afghanicus and Bold will make some very unique looking head patterns on the geckos, one of a kind stuff that you won't see anywhere else. Now, what is the bumblebee? Well, for lack of a better term, if you look at the yellow and black contrast on this guy, it is just strikingly, strikingly beautiful, saturated, and a really pretty yellow, which is very similar to like what we see in bees and bumblebees. You know, they have very nice yellows, very stark blacks. This guy likes to be moving around a lot, apparently. And I'll show you guys another one real quick. We've actually made so many of these Afghanicus bolds that look so similar with like this really high black contrast, these really unique head patterns on their head, and this really pretty yellow. And I was like, we have to name this project. And so here's another one right here, another bumblebee. He is a bandit. So essentially what he is, is hyperxanthic, bold, bandit, Afghanicus. But because it has this really beautiful yellow and black contrast, we needed to come up with a name for this look because this is just absolutely stunning. And so we decided on Bumblebee. So if you look at the yellows and the blacks there, there's even some nice lavenders, but the yellows and blacks are the main reason for calling it the Bumblebee. Now, where did the Bumblebee come from? This is our original hyperxanthic, bold, white and yellow emerine male. And I call him our sweetheart boy because the first couple seasons we had him, he would only breed one girl per season. And look how calm he is too. But look at the, like, he is like a pure highlighter. It is absolutely ridiculous how bright this guy is. So when people ask me, what's the number one morph that lasts the longest time and maintains its colors? White and yellow for sure, 100%. Even though our lighting is a little bit bad in here, as you can see with like some of the other shots, look how brightly he shines. Even from further away, he shines so bright. Shine bright like a diamond. And then of course, when I get closer, you can really see the brightness on his body. Oh, I love this camera too. Look at the, the little spots, the tubercles, I think it's called, that he has. He is sweet big boy. Now, since him, we obviously created so many more white and yellow bolds and white and yellow bold and marines, but he is the boy that started it all. So we created males and females from him and then mixed them with Afghanicus, which is what I will show you now. Okay, now I just wanna show you this project side by side. These actually are two males, so we're not gonna let them get anywhere close to each other. And you can see they kind of already smell each other a little bit, but I just kind of want to show you the bright and yellow contrast between that boy and then the dark and rich contrast with our number one Afghanicus male, which I'll get you a closer up of now. There's just a real quick shot of contrast before I put the one boy away. I'm not going to let them get anywhere close to each other. And I'm being very careful so that they don't look at each other. And I'm being very careful not to stick my fingers out. You stick your fingers out like that, you might get bit. <laughs> But I just want to show you the contrast of the two different kinds of yellow that are combining. This bright white and yellow, beautiful highlighter tone with this, I don't know, just like limeish yellow with black tone. And so these two are the foundation of the Bumblebee project. Now with the Afghanicus, like I said, look at this boy. This is our number one Afghanicus boy from the past, like pure Afghanicus. He has a heart on his head. It is the craziest thing. Afghanicus is throw the wonkiest head patterns and it's absolutely amazing. But they have this very speckled pattern like this, which does not really look like anything in general. But when you combine it with bold, look what happens. So you can see the contrast 
between these two guys right here. And again, these are two males, so we're gonna keep them far apart. Even if they were a male and a female, you wouldn't want the male to breed with the female. And then also if they were two females, that would be the best case scenario, but we don't quite have that available right now to my easily accessibility. So this guy seems to be wandering a lot right here. So I'm gonna just keep twirling them a little bit. You could kind of see the difference in the two colors of yellow and the pattern distinction. So you can see this boy right here, his pattern is very much more spaced out and broken up, giving him like more of a bumblebee-like effect in my opinion than this, which is more of just like blotty, right? It's like an ink blot effect. So broken up, spaced out is right here, and then ink blotty is right here. Plus this one is just way more of like a brighter, more bumblebee-like type yellow. But the best of both of those worlds is what has created the Bumblebee Project. So if you wanna see some bumblebees in action, they're on our website right now, geekygeckocreations.com, and you could definitely check those out and get some bumblebees for yourself. Leave a comment below with what you think about this project and what future projects you hope that we would be taking on. The next one we're gonna talk about is the fire project, so stick around for that one. Until then, have a geeky gecko great day. Peace.